If you wish to go for a warranty or an RMA on your Xiaomi device, you need to restore everything to factory settings. Let's do it. All right, so these are the things that we will need a Xiaomi Flash tool, fast boot ROM, and minimal ADP and fast boot. So, first, let's go ahead and download the Xiaomi Flash tool and then we will be installing it. So, the link is mentioned in the description. Just go ahead and download this particular file. Next up, we will download minimal ADP and fast boot. Now ensure you have at least 50% battery and you've backed up all your data because your internal storage will be wiped. So once you have completed downloading minimal ADP and fast boot, you just need to go ahead and install it. And last uh, but not the least, we will be downloading the fast boot ROM, which will help us to get back to a stock ROM with factory settings. And at the end of the video, we will be locking the bootloader. So as you can see now, I'm installing minimal ADP and fast boot. Now, while this is done, uh, let me share the reason why you would want to do this in case your phone is having some trouble and you want to go back to complete stock and you want to have a reliable experience like avoiding random reboots and stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and do this or if you want to take it to the service center for any repairs or any other purpose at times if you carry your phone with a custom ROM or a unlocked bootloader, a certain service center might reject your warranty claims stating that you void the warranty by unlocking the bootloader so this should help you to get back to factory settings now once both the softwares are installed the flash tool and the minimal adp and fast boot you need to go ahead and download this particular file now this procedure can be followed on any xiaomi device you just need to google like redmi 3s fast boot rom or redmi 2 fast boot rom and you will get the file now once the ROM is downloaded, you need to power your device off, press and hold volume down and power button till you see the fast boot logo on your phone screen and then connect your phone to the computer. Alright, once your phone is detected by your computer, if you're doing this for the first time, give it a few seconds so that it installs the drivers. Now locate the ROM that you had downloaded, the fast boot ROM right click on it and click on extract files and extract it to your desktop okay once the extraction is complete uh, just go to the start menu and type xiaomi you will find the flash tool and open it by double clicking on it now over here click on select and select the folder on the desktop which we just extracted basically the fast boot rom select clean all so that everything is wiped and hit refresh and you'll notice that the phone is detected simply hit flash now this flash will take around two to three minutes so please be patient and uh, as i said earlier please ensure that you back up all your data because this procedure wipes everything on your phone so you know please be a little cautious while doing this okay now as you can see the phone is booted up the first boot will take 10 to 12 minutes but if you go to settings and developer options in additional settings you will see that the device is still unlocked so the bootloader is yet to be locked so power off your device and once again press and hold volume down and power to enter fast boot mode and once again you need to connect it to the computer using a usb cable all right once it is connected to the computer all you need to do is you need to go back to your computer and go to the start menu and type minimal and you will find minimal adb and fast boot so over here type in fast boot space oem space lock and hit enter there you go the bootloader is locked you can now type fast boot reboot and the phone will reboot now once the reboot is complete if you go to settings and if you go to additional settings and click on OEM unlock and check unlock status you will see that the bootloader is now locked so if you have any OTA updates available just go ahead and install them so the phone is completely stocked now and you should not have any issues with the phone. If you like this video like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome tutorials like these.